Hey guys, we're working on a Jet MK6, Golf MK6 today and we're gonna show you how to remove and replace uh, the side uh, mirror switch right here, the control uh, for this generation. It should be the same from 2011 all the way until 2015. Unfortunately, you have to remove the door panel. Stay with us to show you how to do that now. First thing, there is a hidden screw bolt that we need to show you guys where it is. With a prank tool, we need to remove the master window switches. Okay, like that. You have to be careful because that is very fragile. There is a couple clips here and there. Then, one more there. So now we need to remove the wires. That could be tricky too. Get a screwdriver, push all the way out like that, and they will just come out. Master window switches out. And now we have one bolt right here you can see with a t30 that's the one we're talking about that it's pretty pretty hidden there okay that's the one that's bolt that bolt right there and next we have one screw on the bottom of the door panel with a t20 there okay Go ahead and remove that one. After that, with a prime tube, guys, we need to start somewhere to get it loose. Uh, there is quite a few clips. Once we remove the door panel, we'll show you where they are so you know what to expect, guys, and uh, know where to apply a little bit more pressure. Okay, it's coming loose now. So that will be the same procedure for the right side as well. We're demonstrating on the left one because there is more switches and it's a little bit more complicated here. Okay, a couple there. Okay guys, next we need to remove that trim right here. So if you get it started okay with a prank tool, it comes out in a very weird way to be honest with you. Okay, let's see if we can figure it out. It slides towards the back once you get it out. Okay, it, it slides towards the back. And uh, we have we have a bolt right here, as you can see, a hidden bolt. They like to do that on that MK6. Everything is hidden for the door panels. With the same T30, we need to remove that one. Oh, you guys, we forgot we almost messed up, so, well, we mess up, we save you trouble, guys. There is a clip right there. That's a plastic cap that you need to remove and underneath it, there is another box. Okay, the same with the T30. So we know where that one is now. That's good to check out before you start taking apart because you know what to expect and it saves you quite a bit of trouble. And you just pull it out now, guys. We need to disconnect the wires and the cables which is a very limited room here trying to do my best to show you how to do that now okay this is for the light here on the side okay so we need to remove that wire there first you can see for the that's for the mirrors and for the power locks trying to make a video here through the window guys so you can see because the wires are super short and we don't get enough room to remove them. Okay, we gained a little bit now. And uh, what we will need to do, disconnect the wire down there for the trunk release. And all we have left is the one that I was trying to do like five minutes ago right here. Okay, super, super limited space. They don't give you much to work with. Okay, and if you turn it like that. Okay, let's see how this one. Okay, you pick it up and pull it. Okay, so that one right here, you, you need to pull this thing up and then you pull it. That's the lock, the, the inner door handle. Pull it out like that, those are easy to install. That's the panel, guys. Those are the clips right here. One, two three four you can see five six clips there one is missing 
from ours you can see it stayed here so we'll show you how to remove that thing now okay you need to get just the uh, no okay okay like that the whole clip and we're just going to go ahead and install it on the panel now and all you have to do just install it on the door panel like that you can see that's what it looks like from the back so that's how you guys remove the door panel so once you remove the door panel guys right here uh, we will need to pry okay that piece right here you see it's holding the two notches so you can push in there is one like that on the bottom as well okay like that and we got the switch out that's how simple it is once you once you know what to do unfortunately you have to remove the door panel otherwise you're risking of breaking it and most likely you'll not be able to attach the new one because if you break the little clips behind it they will not be holding anymore hopefully the video was helpful guys don't forget to give us a like and please subscribe for more videos